I can't possibly make a video for everything that I ever made or everything that I make. I make a lot of things and I have for a long time and so you can't expect me to produce a video for every single thing and this is one of those. It's not done yet but it's a media shelf. It's sized to fit a common DVD or I don't know, it's not called a jewel case, I don't remember. A regular game case, it's about seven and a half inches tall. The dimensions are that, well, first of all, the design is very simple. It starts with a 26 inch by 4 foot piece of 3 8 inch plywood. And these pieces are all simply ripped to 6 inches. That's probably all the information you need to construct this. You size it so that there's one half of an inch for finger space at the top from one of these. I think it came out to an eight and one eighth in between here. Hold on, I'll check. Yes, I verified that. Eight and an eighth. And how this is constructed is very simple. I shot it all together with 18 gauge uh, air nails. I put a couple screws in strategic positions and I used wood glue as I went. The bottom has a couple layers to build thickness as kind of a vacuum bumper. Well, the idea is sprung out of this. And I used this as kind of a one size catches all for games. And I've, I've made, oh, I don't know, probably a dozen or so of these. And I'm sick of them. They're, it was a system that I got caught into making. It was repeatedly. It was nice because it worked for so many different types of games, but the numbers just couldn't be made to satisfy, I don't know, an optimum. It, if you use three of three standard sized games, I can't do it with one hand, but it, so it, it won't quite fit three games and two separating partitions. These are a friction fit and they're wonderful and they will support the weight of the games on top of them because it has a slight convexity to it. Whenever you build the shelf, you make it such that the plywood moves, or the, the plywood has a natural tendency to move this way. 3 8 plywood always has a natural curl to it, and for one reason or another. And if you use that, it puts sort of a mild pressure on the inside walls, which will really grab these friction fit uh, partitions nicely. And that's a concept that I'm going to extend to this, but I'm not done with. I'll show you a clip when it's complete. Well, almost done. I have one more side to finish, and I'll take a little bit of footage of that process to show you how it's done. 
it is not easy. It takes quite a bit of practice and patience to get these corners nice. I've been doing this for a rather long time. When I was younger I used to do speaker boxes and such by a very similar method. I'm using craft felt charcoal color and it's fairly readily available. As for these partitions, this will help to keep the structure square, distribute weight and transfer it down to the bottom, and also it can help you to organize your media. And finally, here it is, all completed. And excuse the sticky floor that I have from all of the overspray. I think that it's probably somewhat larger than the video would suggest if you were to see it in real life. I mean, you have to consider that it's four feet from end to end. And in a one foot section, you can fit about 20 games. So. 20 times 3, rather 20 times 4 times 3 is about 240 games, which will put a considerable dent in my storage problem. So, now to the fun part, filling it full of games.